Hello everyone, I'm Andrew Toy, a film critic for Filmbook. Today I will be reviewing Tesla. Tesla is a film written and directed by Michael Almereda, a name I am probably butchering. It stars Ethan Hawke, Eve Hewson, and Eli A. Smith. I was excited about this, I really was. It's a historic piece about a man I know of, but don't really know much about. Also, I like Ethan Hawke, even though I haven't seen him on screen since Training Day. Once the movie got underway, I was super optimistic about the artistic approach this thing seemed to be taking. So it's set in the 19th century. A few minutes into the movie, you've got a character who is in that setting who suddenly breaks the fourth wall and starts Googling information on her Mac, which I thought was a lot of fun. I thought this was a setup for a movie that was actually going to be quite engaging and fun. Boy, <laughs> was I wrong. I mean, the movie just keeps going and going and going without anything happening. And when I say nothing in this movie happens, I literally mean nothing happens in this movie. As a whole, the movie Tesla is just a series of meetings between the title character, played by Ethan Hawke, and Thomas Edison, played by Kyle MacLachlan. Another name I'm totally butchering, I know it. And then, quite literally, the fourth wall-breaking character, played by Eve Hewson, will say, yeah, that meeting never happened. Or, it didn't necessarily go down that way. Or, after a long scene between the two characters, she'll come out and say, those two never met in the Chicago's World Fair. It's one thing for a movie to take creative liberties to tailor the story so that it moves along at a narratively friendly pace. Because, let's face it, unscripted life doesn't really make for good movie making. But to put your audience through one colorless scene after another and then continually call out that it never happened, it just lost its luster really fast. The first time it happened, I really liked it. But then the more it happened, it just begged me to disengage from this movie. Because in the end, it's not a movie about Tesla, or even how Edison stole his ideas, which would have made this a really great movie if it was more like The Prestige or even more whimsical like Catch Me If You Can. No. This was a movie about some filmmakers reimagining of history in the least imaginative and low-cost way possible. And I say low-cost because you can literally see on film how underfunded this movie was. Like when a character was supposed to be getting off of a train, Instead of stepping off a real train, she just kind of walked toward the camera from a mural, uh, a large painting of a train in the background. They didn't attempt to rebuild any aspect of the World's Fair. No, they just showed us three or four pictures that they pulled up on probably the narrator's Mac on Google. At one point, Ethan Hawke is just contemplating. He's staring at a massive waterfall. And yep, you guessed it. It's just a painting of a waterfall. In the end, this movie did have some nuggets of artistic fun that completely failed to deliver or serve any purpose throughout the film. Now, do I know more about Tesla or even Edison after having watched this film than I did before? Nope. I still had to Google what Tesla's biggest contribution was as an inventor. This movie's so bad that my wife, who has to finish every movie she starts, no matter how bad it is, she gave up an hour into the movie. <laughs> kind of like my last video, this is supposed to be where I give spoilers, but there again, there's no spoilers to be given. Nothing happens. This, it, it, It's a movie that attempts to tell a story and nothing is really told or learned or even fun to be had. So I give Tesla a 2 out of 10. One point goes to the potential that this movie had, and the other point goes to Ethan Hawke. It's a pity point. I like him. What can I say? Was he good in this movie? Eh, he was Ethan Hawke in this movie. He, he did his job. And that brings us to the conclusion of my review for Tesla. I'd like to thank you for watching. You can find more of my work on Filmbook. That's film-book.com and just search for Andrew. You can also find some of my older movie reviews on YouTube. Just type in Andrew and Sarah Beth Toy, and you'll find that link in the description below. And like always, don't forget to hit that like button down below, smash the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below, even if you disagree with what I said, because if you, we all agreed on everything, we'd have nothing to talk about. Please also consider becoming one of our patrons on Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, and your support helps us to continue to keep creating engaging content for you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.